Four minute offense. Four minute offense. Four minutes. Four minute offense. Four minute offense. Everything you need to know in sports that affects Maricopa County, the state of Arizona, and the world, you get in four minutes. We start things off in downtown Phoenix. Sons of winner 107 100. Kevin Durant's home debut. He goes for 16 points, eight boards, four assists. KD, how'd it feel? I know everybody was anticipating and waiting on it and since, since the last time I stepped on the floor for warm-ups, you know, so I'm glad we was able to do it again and get through it and move on from here. Devin Booker, 29 points, five assists, four steals, three rebounds. He went 12 of 15 from the free throw line. D-Book, how did it feel to be out there with the energy from the crowd? Yeah, I mean, the whole, the whole city's been waiting on this. Um, you know, it was a really special night, you know, big night. And, the history of the organization and you know the, the fans showed the love. One of the main reasons why the Suns won, turnovers. Phoenix only had eight of them, but they forced 21 from Minnesota. That thrilled head coach Monty Williams because the Suns didn't shoot well, but they won anyway. We're going to be a work in progress, but I like the fact that we can win games while we progress, you know, and I don't think you get a grade for that. I just like the fact that we were able to win what we would call an ugly game with our defense. Wouldn't give that a grade, it's just in the category of winning an ugly game. Happy opening day! The Arizona Diamondbacks wrap up Major League Baseball's opening slate. They're in LA. They take on the Dodgers tonight at 7-10. Zach Gallen goes for the D-backs. First pitch will be thrown by Julio Urias of the LA Dodgers. Now, strange news for the Diamondbacks. Valley Sports has declared bankruptcy, but they've made a payment to every single team in baseball that they owe, except one, the Diamondbacks, as yesterday, Valley Sports made their initial payment to the San Diego Padres. Speaking of the Padres, their third base coach and one of the World Series heroes for our Diamondbacks, Matt Williams, diagnosed with colon cancer. He learned three weeks ago that he had it in a routine physical for a low red blood cell count. Surgery scheduled for Friday. He is expected to return at some point this season for the Padres. And today is opening day across the league. 10.05 is first pitch with Atlanta at Washington and the Giants at New York against the Yankees. And the final game of the day, not only is our D-backs and Dodgers, but also at 7.10, Cleveland is at Seattle. Sacramento Kings clinched the playoffs last night with a 40-point win over Portland. Why does that matter? That ends the longest streak in North American sports without a playoff berth. It's been 16 years since the Kings were in the postseason. If you're wondering, the newest streak, that's now owned by the New York Jets. Mark Sanchez in the AFC Championship game 12 years ago is the last time the Jets saw the postseason. Only one game tonight that affects the Western Conference standings. The New Orleans Pelicans on the road at Denver. If New Orleans wins, they are tied with Minnesota for the seventh seed and they're only two and a half games behind the Suns. However, if they lose, they drop into a tie for the final playoff spot in the West and they would be three and a half games behind Phoenix. And finally, meet Jim Justice. He lost an $850,000 civil judgment and then defaulted on his loans to Citizens Bank of West Virginia. So the bank has filed a motion to have 20% of his wages garnished straight from his paycheck. Now, what does Jim Justice do for a living? <laughs> He's the governor of West Virginia.